Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Bridge Builders of Diversity. Today we are going to talk about helping your special needs child or adult <laughs> through a change in their schedule. One aspect of life that many people with special needs, especially those with autism or ADHD and cognitive impairments have in common is their love of predictable routines. I know my son, Nathan, thrives on predictable structure and routine. When there is a change to the routine, um, can make him feel a little uncomfortable, right, Nady? Or when he or just, not. when he wants to join in. Or not right now. Um, <laughs> but that is right. I can attest to the importance of routine and structure in the school setting. Some of my neurodiverse and cognitively impaired students struggle when there is a change in their routine, even an enjoyable event like a party, a special assembly, or even extra recess can cause them concern, discomfort, or even negative behaviors. Unscheduled changes to the routine like surprise safety drills or unscheduled meetings can really throw a student with special needs off their game. Yeah, and one of the things that we can do as parents and caregivers is to pre-teach flexibility. I know what you're thinking. Yikes, my child is really rigid. How is this going to work? Through practice, repetition, and constant positive reinforcement. Social stories, scenarios that give a child or adult with special needs a script to deal with unexpected changes or other social challenges. Remember, if you like our content, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support yeah. will help us continue to bring you content that is informative <laughs> and supportive of people with disabilities. <sighs> Don't forget to smash all those buttons and just a yeah, quick right. introduction in case you're not familiar with our right. channel. I'm Shari. I'm a mother of Nathan who happens to have Down syndrome. And this is Roberta. She's a special educator. So please smash all those buttons, drop us a comment, especially if you would like to hear more about social stories. Roberta writes great social stories or any other topic. We would love to hear from you. How can I use a social story to help my child or student handle changes in their schedule? That is a great question. Yep. The first step is not to wait until the change is imminent. If a day off or a change in a routine is coming up in the future, it's a good time to start coaching them and having that conversation. Yeah. Start by acknowledging their feelings. For example, I know that changes in the schedule can make you feel uncomfortable. Or, I know that you don't like it when we have to change our plans. Use language that, the, that your child or student is comfortable with and will understand. Like he's saying bowling. Yeah, <laughs> even a day off from school, bowling's a good uh, choice, and pizza. Uh, something most of us enjoy can be upsetting to a student um, or a child or adult that craves routine. We can start by saying things like, I know that change in the schedule can make you feel nervous. Let's practice your calm down strategy. He was saying pepperoni pizza. So we must go bowling with pepperoni pizza. That is a really great idea, Nate. Yes. But right now we're going to finish this video. <laughs> <laughs> if your loved one has not developed a specific strategy to calm themselves, you can ask them to focus on something that they would enjoy doing in place of the scheduled activity. An example would be if you have an unscheduled day off, ask your friend, what would you like to do instead of our usual activity? Keep the focus on positive experiences. As I'm having two different conversations. <laughs> <laughs> also, That's tricky, isn't it? Switching gears. <laughs> also, your child, student, or adult may have questions like, who's going to be with me? Where am I Where am I going? Or what am I going to have for lunch? Making sure that these questions are answered in a positive and specific way can help to calm their anxiety. Right. Even if you don't have specific answers to their questions, it's important to allow them to ask and to give them understandable answers like, Mm -hmm. We can talk about yeah. what you're going to have with, for lunch with dad. Think about what you'd like to ask him when he comes to pick you up. All right. Given our loved ones uh, with differences, a script for how to gain information will help them to manage unexpected change. The most important thing to remember <clears throat> is to keep it positive and specific. Yeah. 
It's never too early to begin practicing. Yes, things can happen unexpectedly, but if your loved one has a script and strategies to deal with unexpected changes, it will help them to develop the skills that they need to self-advocate. Yeah, that's our ultimate goal, to give our loved ones a voice to express themselves. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you, and we appreciate you, and don't forget to smash all those buttons all and leave us a comment. Right, Nate? Right. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bye.